Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and this is Prison Architect. Yes, indeed. We are here, and we are sitting at a prison worth $380,000, which is more than I have had for a small map like this. Although, a lot of that $380,000 has to do with the fact that we have almost $150,000 in the bank account right now. Minus that three eighty. Yeah, or minus that 145, this is worth uh, 240, 230, so, you know, what we had when we started the episode, this was only worth about 240, or 260 thereabouts, so, yeah. Anyway, what I am, what I want to do is fix up the rest of the prison, I did uh, mention also and in fact, um, I think I did mention that I wanted to also see if the prison would be working as it's intended. And can I do logistics and prison labor? I can't do anyone in the library just yet. So, uh, in the last episode, yeah, we set up a lot of guard patrols. Uh, set up the dogs. We had no dogs patrolling back here. So who knows, these guys could be patrolling and what we are going to do is just do a cell by cell block search. And what we may want to do, we have $4,800 per day. Let's hire four more guards just to be on the safe side. And what was that? What was that ding? Ding. Something dinged. I have no idea. Unless that was bureaucracy. Yes, indeed, we have remote access. That is what had dinged. So now we're working on tasers and body armor. And so pretty much right now, we are just doing a cell-by-cell -cell search. I am hoping that doing this search will at least uh, help us to find tunnels. If you do a full shakedown, if there's anyone tunneling, they tend to kind of, uh, let's search the cell block. They kind of escape back to their cells and you can't actually, you won't actually find them. I don't want to have a repeat of last, a few episodes ago when this happened. So we are going to, yep. Yeah. Let's uh, ramp up our guards. Let's put another two in, just help with that. I am going to put another ganter, or no, two uh, gardeners, and two more janters. And we are finding some stuff. But we are not finding any tunnels. One thing would be nice is if our confidential informants, although we don't have anyone, although, no, not deployment, intelligence, informants. No, we can't. Oh. There is going to be some contraband thrown in. And that is a... Some narcotics. So we are going to want to pay attention to that. Let's uh, let you in. And what I want to do also, yeah, let's uh, lay down some flooring. We are just going to put grass, and we can't put anything on the outside. So that's going to have to be what it is. We are going to have a path along here. Lay down grass. What do I want to use as my path? What works here? Walk speed, normal. I don't really like this stone just because it blends in too much with and you don't really notice it. Gravel, that could work. Yeah, I think I'll use gravel around the outside. So we will do this here. And like this, to about here. Thought I saw some blinking, nope. 
They are working on that. Let's uh, do that up. I have the money. 139,000. Oh, body armor. Our guys are getting the body armor. And tasers are coming in. So that is... Means we have... Just tasers to do to get the MaxSec infrastructure implementation. And... Oh, yeah, I was going to do something with this. Now I'm going to put some flooring down here. Let's... How about uh, we do... Mosaic floor, that's worth ten dollars. Yeah, we'll give the chief's office some mosaic. We're going to give this staff room some wood floor. We are going to give. Let's uh, give the warden some marble. Uh, let's put some metal floor in for the foreman. <laughs> and yeah, we can also. We can also do some fancy tiles for the accountant. That's going to look pretty. Well, maybe not. Let's, uh, just because we have the money, let's put some wooden floor in the visitor's office. Or not the office. And we are going to put some grass in here. Actually, we're just going to clear this up. Let's, uh, demolish this. And, and that. And we're just going to lay down grass like that and that. Let's put down some more concrete tiles. And this is all deliveries like that. Let's uh, throw down, yep, yeah, grass there. And grass here. Did we do this yet? Nope, we didn't. We did do the gravel, I believe. How's that looking? Looking pretty good. What are we going to do with these cells? Let's uh, put some metal floor in the solitary. Staff room. Let's uh, make this uh, wooden. We are going to make the, let's say, mosaic. Uh, no. Let's uh, do what will contrast well. Ceramic? No, I don't want to give them ceramic. White tiles. Yeah, metal floor. Look kind of interesting. And let's uh, go metal tile up the armory. And we got the grant completed. So, we are now... How is this looking? Looking a bit better. There's the visitation room almost done. Let's put a little bit of uh, concrete tiles in there. And how is that looking? That's a little... Yeah, it's... Anyway. <laughs> Let's put some white tiles in the shower room. Although I could move that if I want to. And the same thing with the shower here and shower here. Let's, uh, yeah, there, even though it doesn't really matter, because the drain is covering the entire tile. Let's put that in there. Clean cover gets white tiles as well. Yeah, let's, uh, infirmary and morgue. Do we want to... 
Well, yeah, let's just wait tile up. Kitchen. We are going to go with fancy tiles. Yeah, might as well. And what's the canteen going to get? What we can do is do something a little bit different. Or not. It might affect my OCD, so I may not want to touch the kitchen as is. Although, I'm going to bring in that like that. Anywhere else. Let's uh, put in not marble tire. Well, maybe marble. Sure, let's... Why not? Let's do marble for the... Uh, the canteen. And we are going to put in, say, metal floor into the bathroom. And yeah, how about uh, metal tile in all the cells? We are down to 141,000, or rather up 140,000. that let's do the same thing with these and concrete tile the entrances metal floor like that And we also need, yep, we are going to want to have a guard station here and here, just to give us some vision. We'll, might as well put one in here. Although I'm thinking rather than that, let's do a, yeah. That's right. Yeah, let's uh, just uh, throw in a guard there. It's interesting that that is considered a separate room. Interesting. Anyway, we have 9 of 26 guards free. Alright. Not looking too, too bad. Yeah, let's uh, put some gravel in there. And... Yeah, this has not been done. And oh yes, that's looking nice. Looking nice indeed. What are you doing out here? Let me guess. I need you to search you. Search prisoner. Let's go back to deployment. Indeed, of course. Staff only. You're not allowed out there. Anywhere else that needs to be staff only? That's protective custody. I can't really get out there except for... Uh, there's only one guy in there anyway. This kind of shared area. Shared area. Hmm. All right. So, what we are going to do next. And yeah, I think the uh, present is definitely looking better than it was. Just need those finishing touches. And, oh, yes, indeed. A hammer. Really? And smuggled in. Nope, it was thrown in. Yep, indeed. Thrown in. Found. Dog. Thrown in. Yep, the only reason you'd be going out there around the outside of the prison is so that you can pick up some contraband. 
that you arranged to be thrown in. Of course, how's our... Nothing in here for now. How's our 24 hour looking? Oh, not too, too bad. Do I, do I have to? And do I have to set down a, what's it called? A, um, do I have to dismantle your toilets? Is that it? Is that what I'm going to have to? All right, let's uh, dismantle these. They don't need any light. They don't need any lights in there. And I am missing a jail door in this solitary cell. Not that we necessarily need it, but it's always nice to put it in just in case. And what are we looking at for evaluation? 390, that's awesome. And you know what? We could, if we wanted to, replace this entire fence with perimeter wall. That is one possibility. One possibility indeed. Prisoners are actually keeping things clean. They are... How, how is our laundry distribution? Why is this laundry going that way? Yeah, those should be handling there. There, there, yep, and there. And it should be handling this. All right. And then this one. Uh, no, 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 that was not right. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Oh, uh -huh. Laundry distribution, let's, um, all right, so what we are going to do is set those up and then set this up, make sure those are taken care of. All right, so we're going to leave that food distribution. All these are coming here. All that's going there. That's serving that. Those are going there. Those are going there. That's good. All right. So. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, not forget to, to gravel this up. And they have no access in here. Might as well give them some access. Large jail door. Say right about here. And we are going to... Yeah, I'm going to make this like this. Just because we're going to leave this as is. I mean, nothing other than just a, a prettified area. We can even remove this wall if we want. No, we better not do that. And so what's next? Got everything that we need. Things are going good. How is our prison grading? Five prisoners have been released. And 10 prisoners must be released before this report can be compiled. What I'm thinking I'm going to do with this series is that for this prison, I think we are going to definitely go, we have to get a prison grading. So we have to have at least 10, five more prisoners getting released. And then we'll find out what our prison is looking at regarding, regarding its, uh, performance 
For the next prison, the goal of it, before we can move on to an even bigger prison, is going to be we need to not only get another prison grading, but we have to beat our score from last time. So we're going to have to pay attention to the numbers. And so I can't remember what the screen looks like, but we will see what it does look like and what numbers we have to beat, whether we have to get... Uh, you know, a lower reoffending rate or things like that. Let me know down in the comments what kind of stats you would like to see us pay attention to. And I'm going to, just because I did remember, let's throw down. Am I able to? Material gravel. There, there we go. Let me know down in the comments what you think we should accomplish in our next prison whether we want to have a lower reoffending rate than the last what we should you know focus on for this prison and the next one or not this one <laughs> cuz we're almost done this one and it's almost looking good let's give this staff room let's give it some wooden floor It'll contrast with the just regular concrete floors. What's our valuation looking like now? 390 still. We have 136,000 in our pockets, making 4,600 a day. And yeah, I would really like to get someone at least work in the library, make it useful. It's rather disappointing. You actually need at least one person to complete the whatever this is. Programs, how are we doing? We have had four pa people pass, one person fail the drug treatment program. They ate our NQ, so one thing we can do, obviously, is where's our infirmary? Let's crank up the number of medical beds. And that's another thing I would have obviously wanted to do. And we aren't going to need that many workmen anymore, so we are going to. Not you, not you. Who's just being lazy? You. You can. And yeah, you in there. So we'll go down to eight workers. We have 42 guards. And 18 staff, five administrators. 95 staff for prison. And actually, we should bring in some more prisoners. Yes, indeed. We got one protective custody. We can bring in three. So in the next time, we'll bring in three medium security prisoners. And how are we doing for intelligence? For informants, we got an instigator. Soikal, skilled fighters, extremely strong. Fearless. Tough, volatile, strong, quick, skilled fighter. Yes, indeed, Rudy Dix. Yep. You've served 2.9 of your five years, so you probably had a parole, or not parole meeting. Yeah, actually, yeah, you did have a parole meeting. You probably failed it. And we actually have 12 prisoners up for parole. Interesting. Interesting indeed, and uh, now that I've done this, one, two, three, four, five, damn it. <laughs> I just realized that, uh, we could actually build a second parole room. And I actually might just do that. It'll help our uh, prisoners. So we are going to want to have, that's a five by five. So we need to have the walls going like this and like this and like this. We'll have a door through here. And we'll let them get on with that. And that will allow additional people to get paroled. 
because we actually do have 12 that are up for parole. Anyway, that's going to be it, the it for this episode of Prison Architect. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and have a good day.